All right, guys, so now that you sent me your pictures of your giraffes can't dance writing, we will go ahead and read the story and find out what happens, okay? So get ready and show me that you look like a good listener. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap and put them in your lap. And we're gonna read giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. He buckled at the knees and he fell down flat on his face. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. All the other animals are dancing. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. All oh, monkeys. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. They are not being nice to Gerald. I bet that they are hurting his feelings. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. The other animals are being really mean to him. Poor Gerald. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. I wonder what he means by you need a different song. Let's see. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches and the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. Look at him, he's dancing. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. This is our picture just like on the front, him dancing in the sky. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. He feels so happy now, I bet he's really proud of himself. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled round and finished with a bow. All the animals aren't making fun of him now. Then he's raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. That was such a good story, you guys. We're gonna read it again. Um, tomorrow and talk a little bit more about it. But today, I wanna show you a picture. Um, and I want you to tell me when I show you this picture, 
if you think this giraffe's legs would be good for dancing, okay, I want you to look, I want you to think, of, look at his legs and think if those are good dancing legs, okay? And then take a video and send it to me and tell me what your thinking is. Are they good dancing legs and why? Why are they good dancing legs or why are they not good dancing legs? All right, can't wait to hear from you guys, bye.